It's the story of a Southfield woman with cerebral palsy mistakenly declared dead and that a funeral home worker discovered her alive is making headlines across the country. Today in an interview you saw first on 7, Tamisha Beauchamp's godmother talking to Action News reporter Kimberly Craig about the moment she prayed and felt a pulse. Kim? for me to feel the pulse and I know that I felt a pulse. Savannah Spears has been a nurse for nearly 40 years and she's godmother to Tamisha Beauchamp, a beautiful young woman with cerebral palsy. And Sunday morning when Tamisha's family found her unresponsive, they called 911. And at some point um, between approximately 7.30 and 8 a.m. in the morning, they declared Tamisha dead. And listen to what Ms. Spears says happened while paramedics were still at the family's house. I was holding her in my arms, you know, and as I prayed, I was feeling for a pulse. And uh, actually, I did feel a pulse. It was faint, but um, I felt a pulse. Ms. Spears says they called paramedics back into the room and they told loved ones that Tamisha was dead and any movement was involuntary and a result of the drugs they administer trying to revive her. They felt for a pulse and uh, they said that uh, I didn't feel one, so I just didn't argue with them. For two days now, we've asked to interview Southfield's Fire Chief Johnny Menifee to ask how, if protocol was followed, could a mistake have been made in declaring someone dead. Her breathing was like, had returned back to normal. And, and they, and what was, did they do? They just, what did they say? They just kind of brushed you off yes, or what? Yes, yes. I asked the family's attorney if he thinks Tamisha's medical history may have factored into the horrible mistake. I believe that her relatively uh, fragile condition uh, probably um, contributed to the false belief by the authorities that she had deceased. We'll hope that they will learn that uh, the next time, you know, maybe they should take the initiative to take the patient, you know, from the home to the hospital, you know, before they make a final decision. Thankfully, when a funeral home worker unzipped the body bag to get ready to embalm Tamisha, almost four hours after she had been declared dead, her eyes were open, narrowly missing a process that would have actually killed her and no one would have known. I was like, oh my God, it was a miracle. That was a miracle. On Detroit's West Side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Wow, it was a miracle and we wish her only the best. All right.